his mission is to inspire children by empowering and encouraging them to be their best. He does this through safety and self-esteem tips delivered in an energetic and entertaining way. And joining us this morning is Retro Bill. Good morning, Retro Bill. How are you doing, Sheila? Hi, good, Anchorage. Good. Thank you for getting up so early to join us on the morning edition. I really appreciate it. Tell me, what brings you to Alaska? Well, let me tell you, I'm glad to be here, and I got up at 4 o'clock this morning to blow dry the hair, which is real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the midst of my four-week, one-month-long tour here throughout the state of Alaska. As a matter of fact, over the past three and a half, four weeks now, I have visited 27 villages, towns, and cities from the southeast to Juneau, all the way west, out there to my buddies in Dutch Harbor and on Alaska all the way south to Kodiak, which is awesome, and Homer, and all the way up north to Barrow. So I've been across the whole state bringing my message of making your dreams come true and making positive choices in your life so that you can grow up and be a really cool person like Retro Bill. Very cool. Now, you've been endorsed by police officers and by law enforcement officials around the U.S., and you're referred to as the king of safety. What kinds of things regarding safety do you try to teach children? Well, Sheila, that's a very good question. The first thing I like to tell kids is it starts with something as basic as this, a hula hoop. And the hula hoop is a really nice reminder of basically common sense and what goes around comes around. You see, if we put on that safety helmet, we protect our brain when we get on our bicycle, skateboard, or scooter. You get into an automobile, click it, or you get a ticket. And it also keeps you safe, which is so cool. When you're dealing with peer pressure, have a group of friends within your circle that encourage you to do good things and be safe. Don't do things without getting permission first from mom and dad. So it's real common sense type things like not accepting a gift a ride from a stranger even if they offer you twenty dollars earn the twenty dollars don't take it from a stranger sounds good now I have to ask you how do you feel your very impressive pompadour and your awesome 1950s Vegas wardrobe help you get your message across well thank you um, I appreciate the compliment on the hair which is real and the wardrobe which by the way when I'm really bored and I'm waiting for my Alaska Airlines flight I can play checkers with this which is so cool at the airport the neat thing is is kids see me as kind of like a human cartoon and I'm trying to deliver the same types of messages that they're hearing from hopefully a parent at home because hands-on parents Parenting is important, it's job one. Teachers, police officers in uniform, and then really cool retro bill. Because so often what happens is people that try and encourage children to do bad things and make negative choices, try and tell kids, hey, if you don't do drugs, if you're not drinking or smoking, you're not cool. Wrong. I'm here to tell you, drug free, tobacco free, alcohol free, and it's cool. Well, you've given that message to 26 million kids in 350,000 schools nationwide through all kinds of presentations and and the videos and uh have you gleaned from kids today what they're mostly concerned about and what do you tell them to ease those concerns and one of the biggest issues with children is they want to know people care and they need to hear i love you at home right. from mom and dad sounds great and we're going to get more safety and self-esteem tips from you later so stick around and we'll get back to you later thank cool. you i'll work on my hair see you in a few well the holidays are a lot of fun but parents need to take some extra steps to keep their children safe official dare spokesman and our favorite safety expert retro bill Excuse is me. here with safety tips for the entire family and you make it fun it's great to see you again good to see you Sheila. happy holidays hey thank you hi cincinnati <laughs> retro bill's back in town that's uh that's right and it's time to start decorating for Christmas. It is. And by the way, in the Christmas season, remember everybody out there that everybody in Claremont and Hamilton County, Retro Bill has donated a copy of my safety video. It's in all the public libraries. So that over the holidays, so nice of you. Thank you. But over the holidays, you can watch it and it's entertaining and informative and a lot of fun. Very good. Or just watch this segment because uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is Christmas lights. Yes, Christmas lights. And we know they're very pretty, but they can be dangerous if you don't they care are. for what they are. Well, one of the things I recommend is make sure, and they make this kind of idiot proof, and that's good for me because I'm not an idiot. I read the labels. <laughs> Make sure that if you put lights on the outside of your house that they're clearly labeled for use outdoors. Isn't that cool? <laughs> that does make it good for an idiot. <laughs> but by the way, you want to make sure that you're very safe and you're very smart. Blow out candles. And by the way, boys and girls, you shouldn't be lighting candles or playing with fire anyway. Moms and dads, blow out the candles. Turn off the Christmas lights before you go to sleep. Because okay. you don't want to have your Christmas tree lights burning all night on a dry tree. Your tree's going to be parched. <laughs> And that's another thing. The tree needs a lot of water if you get a real tree every year at your It house. does. And unlike me, a tree can't get up in the middle of the night and go, you know, I am very thirsty. I think <laughs> I'll just have a little bit of water. Mm. But in my home, Sheila, my tree does have its own bottle of water. It's clearly labeled tree. But I have to make sure that I put water in the tree, and so do you. So check your tree every day. By okay. the way, if you have an artificial tree, you want to make sure that it's clearly labeled fire resistant. Are there now, some remember, that aren't? 
Well, you know what? Some people think that fire resistant means fireproof. No, that's that is not the case. Mean. That's okay. why you want to turn those Christmas tree lights Very off. Very people. And speaking of fire, it's real important to have a smoke fire. detector in smoke your house. Smoke detector and make sure that if you have a smoke detector, that's great, but you've got to replace the batteries. Mm -hmm. And, boys and if you and didn't girls. do that at the time change, this is a good time to do it. Very true. And by the way, make sure that moms and dads park in a safe, well-lit area. And remember where you parked your car? Hey, oh, you're here's a about... park. <laughs> When you go out shopping, yeah, you don't want somebody to get all your gifts or do something to you. No, and some people think, I'll park way out at the edge of the mall. But you know what? The lights don't even work way out at the edge of the mall. So you want to make sure that you park in a well-lit, safe area. And by the way, boys and girls, if you get lost, right. and I hope you don't, don't walk around the mall going, help me, I'm lost! Oh, it's crazy! You don't want to do that. Yeah, that's not You want to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> stay calm, stay put, mm -hmm. and find a store employee that has a name tag on. It's really great. It'll be like, hi, my name's Jimbo. <laughs> so you go up and you say, Jimbo, excuse me, I'm lost, and my mom and dad were wearing this, and I saw them just over there. Or you can always wait and ask for a police officer for help. <laughs> and there's one now. Whoa. And they're always there when you need them. He's a hit with children across the country. In fact, about 85% of the elementary schools in the Denver metro area have seen the National Dare Safety Buddy and host of National Kids Day, Retro Bill, and here he is, live hey. with us in studio this morning. We're pleased to have the very cool Retro Bill joining us in studio. Hi. Hey, everybody out there in Denver land. Good to have you here, not just over satellite. I know, usually once. I'm in Los Angeles, and I'm talking to my friends in Denver, so it's really, really cool to be here, especially as we're getting ready to go back to school. Okay. First of all, if you're ever on a bicycle, skateboard, or scooter, always wear a safety helmet. Very you wear good. a safety belt in an automobile because it protects us in case of an accident. Safety helmet protects your brain. Now, my buddy, Mr. Potato Head, did not wear his safety helmet one time and he fell tell. down and look what happened. But we all know that Mr. Potato Head is a piece of plastic, so we can easily put him right back together. We brought along some rubber duckies here this morning, and I love I these what guys. Was in that. Because if you are a student and you decide to walk to or from school all alone by yourself, that's a dangerous situation. Always make sure you get permission first so mom and dad know where you are at all times because they need to know where to go if you need help. That's right. And always keep a good circle of friends around you. If you ever get lost, don't just walk up to a stranger and say, help me, I'm lost. Not just anybody. No. Security officer or a policeman in uniform. And Paul Horton has a guest with him. Am I right? Hey, that's right, Rob. Uh, we've got Retro Bill out here. And uh, guess what? Of course, as you notice in the bottom of your screen, a lot of schools were delayed. Yes. And uh, Retro Bill was supposed to be at uh, Mulberry. I but uh, that was delayed by two hours. Yeah, because it kind of went in cold and dangerous out there. Yeah. And uh, that's why we are dressed warm, and you should be today. And we are covering up. We've got a good umbrella. And <laughs> look at that. And you've got a few tips out there. We get a chance to uh, spend time with Retro Bill. You travel the country giving kids tips. 340, the yeah, 340 days a year. I wow. travel to schools nationwide. I've performed live to over 1 million school children. That did I say 1 million? I think busy. I did. Okay. Uh, what, what, what's well, here? also, we know it's windy and cold and wet out there, so yes. uh, make sure you bring along a good can of hairspray. Oh, nice. And if you get into trouble... Is this for real? It is. Hold nice. Careful. Oh, gosh. That Very took good. an hour to do, and here, that here. is a $35 fine. Spray me down real quick <laughs> as we get to the mask. take care of you okay, right thank here. Thank you, sir. We'll just oh, keep yeah. that hat look. I appreciate that. All right. We better pin the ears back a little. Here. Oh, thank you so much. Retro Bill, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'll tell you this. I walked out there. I don't know if you watched the last segment. He was just a spray, uh, yeah, using a little hair spray. back. Yeah, he yeah, said yeah. Was, was, I can't hear anything. Of course, I only did this one ear. i got to do the other one. Can we see the difference? Can we keep him around? I think he'd be a good addition. Retro hey. Bill oh, is going to give us a dare tip um, every few minutes for the next hour because kids are home from school. Absolutely. They're school That's delays right. and So they're watching closings. this morning. So we're going to talk safety. <laughs> Rock the cones. Perfect. I need those in the newsroom. Why bring this to the barber when I get a haircut and I go, just cut around the cone, please? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> hey, I've got bowling balls in my front yard. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hey, and remember, wherever you go, make it a better place because you were there. Hey, I'm going to go surf the web. We love Retro Bill. We love Retro Bill. I love Retro Bill. Cool. I love Retro Bill. Hey. Oh, no.